for in control challenges Sean. me for my hosting spot. Monster. Monster. Say it. Monster. Monster. <laughs> <laughs> Say it again. Monster. Monster. Like how, 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 do, you, how do you do it, John? Uh, it depends on how colloquial I feel that day. Uh, monster. Usually. Monster. See, he's doing it correct. Monster. Yours, yours is with a U. You, you have a U. Monster. You. Ah, it's, you know, it's this the poor guy who walked by the hot dog stand and bought like nine hot dogs. <laughs> <laughs> Every day they show him twice. He will be known by. forever. <laughs> Someone's like, man, that guy's got and a problem. It, was, I it mean, was the one time he bought yeah. them in like a year. He's like, come <laughs> on. United <laughs> States of America. As the hot dog man is at it again. <laughs> so you joke about this, but you know, a long time ago, once upon a time, I, I walked up to a snack bar in Holland and I bought like a fries with mayonnaise, and they took a picture of me and they titled it as like the youth more often overweight, and it was me eating fries, <laughs> and they put me in the newspaper, really? and I was like, man, and all my friends and my brother tease me so much. You're about not it. even so, overweight. I'm sorry, how zombie grub should be awake by midday today at that point in time. <laughs> <laughs> I don't believe that for a second, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> All I could say is she's discovered the magic of Sixth Street, as many of the Austin <laughs> <laughs> Magic of Sixth Street, dude. I love it. There was that a these live jokes are not made about me anymore. That's great. <laughs> we I can like change that. that Roddy has finally grown up. <laughs> <laughs> did you go to Sixth Street? I did. I've it's heard about this place. <laughs> yes, have you? It's it's pretty fun. Yeah. And I think so she had to be carried out of Sixth Street, but. <laughs> no, no, no. I wasn't carried out. <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. Snoop delivered in in big, big ways. Yeah, it's a fantastic um, performance for him. Let me just ask what everyone's thinking. I mean, are the Koreans finally the worst in StarCraft? Like, is this is this it? Do we, Do we even need time? to ask that question at this point? Uh, we know that Lil Bo's getting ready for Warcraft Four, so of course we're not going to see a lot from him for a while. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, that's for you, o gaming out there. I know that you guys already hate me, but it's fine. And, uh, <laughs> people forget this, but it was actually only a couple years ago. He was a Terran player, and he just basically looked in the mirror, was tired of mediocrity, <laughs> was just like, this is so bad. It's not worth it. <laughs> Switched to the Brothers of Ire, and then since then, he's been winning a lot yeah. of stuff. It's just Neeb on ladder, European and American, had weird records of like 67 and 3 type of stuff. Yeah. Where yeah. you don't have that. Except for in the in the few chant the few times where these Koreans have come over and played with us and had those kind of records, I, I was responsible for one of those losses. Did you beat him? Yeah, high five, man. <laughs> well, here, here is of course. What are you Drogo doing here, commentating, Brett? <laughs> Someone's got to do it, Jeff. I, I, I saw the grin you talked about last night. The grin where Kevin's smiling, but inside his really eyes not. are not smiling. His eyes are <laughs> not. When did you guys? When did you guys gossip about ah. me? Hello, talk, mate. <laughs> All right, Nate. Sean. We're having a conversation uh, tonight. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to do this. <laughs> He's uh, like, can I at least be the big spoon this time? <laughs> Just once. Shut up. You're always the little spoon. You know that. <laughs> it's it's Apparently nice. It's not, it's, it's not quite the color we were going for. You see, background's blue. We're blue, but... It's okay, you're a zip player. I mean, if the background's blue, you would want uh, a color that, you know, sticks out rather than blends with the background. So I think you guys got it wrong on, on that. Uh, <laughs> that to be fair, you have orange hair. <laughs> orange is actually the complete opposite of blue, so it's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> I had a great series against uh, Fire Cake, and I'm pretty happy with that. It's 3-2, right? 3-2, yeah. Yeah, not bad I at did all. my math correctly. You actually had a closer series than Polt did. Does that I did. mean you're better than Polt? <laughs> uh, I mean, to you know, I'm going to leave that to for people to decide. Okay. But the, the numbers are there. <laughs> well, the numbers, numbers don't lie. Right? <laughs> numbers it's don't math. Lie. It's <laughs> math and science. <laughs> and math. So we brought you on to talk some Zerg versus Zerg. Because none of us know anything about Zerg at all. Kevin, I, Kevin and I will cool. take it away after this. Though. Don't you worry. <laughs> we know our Zerg versus Zerg. We had Zerg. a choice between Katz and Nathanius. And it was like, oh, well, this is very close. There's just so many options. Mute are viable. Roaches are viable. Um, Ravagers are viable. Even Lurkers at some point. Um, swarm hosts. Uh, I mean, uh, 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 bring Nathanius back on. Like. <laughs> 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 I'm not going to try to say that. <laughs> In the, you know, in certain, it's the only matchup where I use Swarm Hoses, is the point that I'm trying to make. Yeah, uh, your prediction's yeah, yeah. gonna be 3-2 either way, though. Let's get Nathanus back on. <laughs> <laughs> right. Same as Kevin. I took my private jet and then drove my Ferrari to a house, and I was playing against the best of the best in Europe as well. And I was like, man, I'm gonna beat all these guys. But damn sure, man, he almost beat me a couple times. Really, really the intense. problem for you was in Legacy of the Void, they kind of nerfed the cannons. They did. <laughs> so that's gonna be yeah. They did. But don't tell it to Haz. And you know, he started off great today. 3 0 versus mm -hmm. Violet, and he looked fantastic. Did you watch that series? I did not. You did not? Did not. What were you doing? What were you doing? Yeah. <laughs> all kinds of different things, man. Yeah.
All kinds. Uh, All right. <laughs> Coaching, fire cake, and hydro. <laughs> Nate and Roddy took a break earlier today as well. <laughs> <laughs> Jens Asgard. Such a cool name. Really is. Probably the best. The, and, uh, you I know, even like your Vanderkoy. I mean, Robinson. That whole area. Mine's a, I Vander got a pretty Koy, real like? name. Really? Yeah, Vanderkoy. <laughs> wow, what's wrong with my name, Cass? Oh, nothing, nothing. <laughs> He's like, really? You like his name? When I was in elementary school, I was very self-conscious about my name. Really? really? Yeah, yeah. What does it mean? From the cage or off the cage? <laughs> really? I know. It's so brilliant. Please. From the cage. From the cage. Kevin, Kevin from, from, the cage. from the cage. At least you were named yeah. like Chicken Vanderquay or something like that. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be <laughs> to be fair, I don't see that much of Namshire over here. Uh, I do always hear about him. He's mm -hmm. been the guy that's like that young kid that's doing really well in Europe for a while. Yeah. Of course, now he's 32. So I think it's Snoot's destiny to take this tournament. Yeah, I think or lose to Neeb in the finals. And back on the desk, we have mm. Nathanius mm. Total Biscuits. Mm. And in control, I finally. like StarCraft. Do you now? Great game. I like StarCraft too. <laughs> I mean, as well. <laughs> as well. <laughs> yes. Thank you for clarifying. <laughs> Let's talk about that last match. That was. We know how hard it can be to defend three bases on Invader, because I don't think there's ever been a more wide open map than there's that. There's a one. third base on Invader? <laughs> I had no idea. <laughs> Look at Massa winning $42,000. That's like. That is two bills for Roddy in the club. Like that is, that yeah, is that actually is. an incredible amount of money. That is. That's he wins everything in Canada. I mean, that yeah. sounds like the amount of money that Todd would lose in one night of poker. Yeah, that too. You're right. Yeah. Um, so you just, glad I don't. You gamble. have been blocked on Twitter, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, blocked on Twitter. I, 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 I don't much. think you understand. I've been blocked on Twitter by Todd for the last five years. <laughs> He probably went around. He's like, about the me, like, who is Massa? Like, he has no idea who <laughs> this guy is. That is the worst French that was pretty bad. Uh, in my life. Listen, all How, right. Can we all get blocked Sacre by Todd today? Bleu. Can we all get blocked by Todd today? Can we get the goal then? Oh wow. Well, <laughs> some of us already <laughs> have been blocked by Todd. All right. Uh, uh, you're telling me you haven't already? Jeez, dude. What the hell's wrong with you? He has in the past. He has. He has nah, many yeah. times before. Three, three times. Three, three <laughs> times. Nice. Okay. It's pretty good. You got the trifecta. I like it. And right. that's when Firecake went. He was like, "Oh, we, uh, what, is a, what does a Frenchman say when they're distressed?" Sacre bleu. Sacre bleu. Yeah. Or, or other words that I'm not going. Actually, the Europeans are asleep. Merda. That should be illegal. That should be a war crime. What Massa just did to Firecake yeah. right there. Pretty sure the treaty between France and Canada is well and truly broken at this stage because Massa just delivered a massive blow to oh the God. European hopes. A. In this particular tournament, and now we see around the four. Dad jokes like it's like intoxicating. What, <laughs> what can I say? I'm getting too old for this shit. As we get ready for the final day, looking forward to that one tomorrow. Big thank you to our sponsors. Hello, Jeffrey, squeezing in there. Always oh, trying to squeeze into my shot. This Go is, ahead. This is my sponsors. segment. I'm sorry. <laughs> this is mine. To be fair, I squeeze into a lot of segments. <laughs> <laughs> Zerg's not canceling out Prion Terraces. Yeah, there that's an interesting one. There might be some kind of pattern developing here. <laughs> yeah, I can't imagine We're gonna why have to that look would into be. That. We're going to have to look into that one with our science. Mm. Yeah, well, uh, well I ain't saying you're a gold digger, but... <laughs> Kanye West would like $53 million for that. Uh, I, 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 you know, You've been crunching the numbers. I have. <laughs> Since, I mean, what have you come up with? Well, I've been studying for this tournament for seven years now, and it, honestly, like it, it has all come down to this. I knew uh -huh. this would happen eventually. I'm worried, though, because there's another set of numbers that I just now crunch, and that's when two casters make a prediction, and they're all siding with the Korean. Inevitably, this is that moment in time where I then also pick the Korean, and someone in the chat's like, they're doubting a laser. I know he's going to win. And then he wins, and he's like, they're idiots. <laughs> <laughs> I hate them. Why we are they not, there? They're not qualified for this at all. I knew a laser was going to win. These guys are terrible. And it's like, so for that guy out there, Hydra 3-1 probably. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's way better. <laughs> Position, ladies and gentlemen, in the red trunks playing Zerg, it is Firecake. In the southwest position, in the blue trunks playing